not really crowded. It's like the perfect time. It's only like 10 o'clock. Yeah, the plane's, plane's actually, actually coming. coming. <laughs> So we just got to Mullet Bay Beach. We just left uh, Maho Beach. We've seen a couple small planes. All the commercial planes, they said they usually don't fly until later in the day between one and four. But like I said, we've seen a couple smaller and private jets, so that was still cool. Uh, this beach here where we currently at is nice as well. We came here yesterday and it was a lot more packed. Uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, a couple of days ago. It was yeah, a lot more packed. 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 This one's a regular commercial plane. I don't know if y'all can see that commercial plane back there. We just stay five more minutes. We would have caught the commercial with this. Yeah, I like it. I feel like the water is clear too. They said this one's supposed to have like the whitest sand. You think it's the same? <laughs> yeah, I think it's the same. That's why I looked at you. <laughs> But it's still a nice beach though. It's clean too. Yeah, definitely a lot cleaner. Some of the beaches we didn't went to then. It was a whole meal on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> so you got several beach chairs. You got two beach bars. Yeah, it's a couple of, um, like, I guess hotels. Like hotels and resorts. Resorts or apartments or whatever. Like party boats. You would think it would be more restaurants just because how big this beach is. This beach is like a nice size. Yeah, I think it's only like two restaurants on the beach. Yeah. And surprisingly, we didn't see any like jet ski rentals either, but it may be some, some type of rental place around. It just may not be directly on the beach. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty nice though. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of, um, like a lot of palm trees here on this beach. Yeah. The parking is, it's also a lot better than parking at Maho. Now, when we came the other day, the parking was horrible just because there was a lot of people here. But in comparison to the size of the lot, it's actually big. So a lot better compared to if you're going to Maho, where you got to kind of just look up and find parking on the street. Mm -hmm. uh, either park somewhere far down and just walk. We got lucky earlier and found parking on the street right in front of it. So we didn't have to walk. Yeah, I think the only reason why it's hard for parking just because the airport is literally mm -hmm. right next to the beach. Yeah. So we're back at our Airbnb in Simpson Bay and figure we might as well go and give a room tour. So before we go inside the unit, again, it's in this plaza, the Puerto del Sol. You have lots of food options. So fingertips, even a spa and a rooftop bar. Across the street, you have a burger place as well as Lotus, which is a popular nightclub. And right next to that, you have a grocery store and a supermarket. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we're in the Airbnb, again, this Airbnb is only one forty nine a night. As soon as you walk in to the right, you got the bathroom. 
bathrooms a decent size, especially the shower. Both of us can fit in there, so it's, it's pretty spacious. Uh, you got an updated vanity. It's like a glass top. But yeah, overall, the bathroom is nice. Coming out of the bathroom, you have a washer. You don't have a dryer, but it is a drying rack in there, so you have a small mini kitchen area. Good thing about this Airbnb, everything's in the kitchen pretty much. So you got a microwave, you got a two stove, uh, two burner stove top, uh, pots, pans, toasters, uh, coffee makers, silverware, glasses. So yeah, you got all of those available to you, which we actually been using since we've been spending a little too much money on food. We only been there for a couple of days and then I already spent a little bit over 500 on food. So we definitely been using that the past couple of days just to save a little money. Uh, like cooking breakfast and stuff when we get our day started. We got the bed. Next to the bed, two floor, four standing mirrors, which is a closet. We do have a whole lot of extras if we need them. So we got blankets, extra pillows, towels, uh, bed sheets, beach towels. You also got a safe as well. So this is some good extras and a safe to have. And yeah. good thing too, with the safe, it has a key. A lot of the safes, especially like on resorts and hotels, we've been to out of the country, they just have the dial pad, which, yeah, that's definitely a plus, having the key. I just been hiding inside of the apartment. <laughs> I don't want to lose it. You also have fiber, uh, Wi-Fi, so our fiber internet. So that's definitely a plus. There's a lot of islands. You definitely don't have fiber available. We haven't had any issues with the Wi-Fi or internet since we've been here. So right across from the bed, you have the TV and the table. Right next to the TV, you got a table. So sit down, eat, do your thing or whatever. Right across from that, you got a couch, a little table in the front. Well, before we get to the best part, we also got an air conditioning unit. I also meant to mention when we first walked in, there's a roll up shutter button in the front to dim down these views at night so it's not so bright. And this is the bathroom. So to the left, you got the marina. To the right, you got just the mountain view, more apartments, condos, a little pool down there. By the time y'all see this, it'll probably be a couple weeks delayed, maybe three to four weeks, but it is Valentine's Day, so. Of course, I got to take my lady out. <laughs> so we're trying to find something to eat, uh, a restaurant. We didn't think about it before, but a lot of the restaurants do uh, have like reservations and they backed up. So we're going to wing it and see if we can try to slide in somewhere. But that's our next move. So y'all see where we head to next.